I'm not going to lie. This video might get me DMCA'd. Sonic the Hedgehog's water levels are somewhat notorious for being slower, more difficult levels in Sonic games, and are often people's least favorite level in the whole game. Looking at you, Labyrinth Zone. That being said, the music in these levels, as with the rest of the game, tend to be top-notch. So which levels have the best music amongst these chosen zones? Well, let's find out. To shorten the list of games I'd have to listen to, I decided that I would be limiting myself to just the mainline games, so no spin-offs or anything will be included. With that out of the way, let's move on to my personal number 10, Coral Cave, Sonic Rush Adventure. Coral Cave has the sort of vibe you'd expect from a zone called Coral Cave. It's very happy feeling and has a fast pace, like what you expect from Sonic. It feels like a beach level. Honestly, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's just an alright song and decent start to the list. Number 9. Pirate's Island, Sonic Rush Adventure. Wow, look at that. Two Sonic Rush Adventure songs back to back. Pirate's Island starts right away with a very upbeat beat, well, beat, and keeps that throughout the song. It's definitely a go fast song, but not in a stressful way like with some of the other songs we'll be talking about. It's more like a, hey, we're on an adventure, let's go have some fun. And it's pretty darn good. It deserves its number 9 spot. Next up, we have number 8, Labyrinth Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Despite being one of the most hated zones in Sonic history, Labyrinth Zone's music has a very chill, somewhat chipper vibe to it, which is a little strange. It starts out with a little fanfare, and then the actual song starts with a happy synth and beats. You know what? I actually really like this song. It's got a good vibe that contrasts the anxiety-inducing drowning music, and overall, it's a pretty fun song to listen to. All right, with that, we are on to number seven, to which we have Aquatic Rune Zone, Sonic 2. I don't know why, but this song makes me think I'm on a mystery hunt. It has this slightly ominous vibe to it that continues throughout the whole song. It really contrasts the brighter colors and general ruins aesthetic of the whole zone, while not being a jarring tone shift. I think this is, one is a 7 out of 10 for me. Pretty darn good. Deserves it. Number 7 spot. Next up, we have number 6, Lost World Sonic Adventure. No, this isn't Lost World, this is Lost World from Sonic Adventure, like I just said. The music for the stage is really ominous, making use of the strings and a whispery vocal choir as you make your way through the ruins. It's fitting, given the location and place in the story, for the song to be so forlorn and foreboding. Then, during the metal song, it adds a piano, giving a sense of hope but also adding to the already somewhat creepy vibe of the song. It's great, and it definitely fits right here in number 6. Alright, now that we covered the bottom five of the top 10, we're up to the top five. Which water level will get the coveted number five spot? Well, it's Aquatic Base, Sonic 06. Sonic 06 was once laughable, but now with Project 06, I think I can give a more fair assessment of this song. Aquatic Base takes place towards the end of most of the campaigns, and with uh, where it takes place in each story, it makes sense that they would go for a sort of industrial high tense 
ominous vibe. It just makes you feel like you're in danger. Both of the levels of Aquatic Base have this sort of vibe to it, but level two decides to try out the slower pace of the first level in favor of a faster paced but still threatening song. It's a lot like the first one, except it has a lot more electric guitars in it. Overall, 8 out of 10 for both. To be honest, it was really hard for me to choose between Aquatic Bass and this song to go in the number four spot, but this song prevailed. So for my number four spot, we have Hydrocity Zone, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic Mania version. Like all the songs in Sonic Mania, Hydrocity Zone, Acts 1 and 2 are an absolute bop to listen to. They are upbeat, catchy, and make you want to move, like a Sonic song should. Act 1 feels a lot more upbeat and get you in a good mood sort of way. While Act 2 is faster and really makes you want to move as quickly as you can. Of the two, I think I like Act 1 slightly more than Act 2, but they're both great songs. We're in the top three now, and first up, we have a personally surprising third place. Water Palace, Sonic Rush. I wasn't expecting to like the song as much as I do. Really, it's surprising. Back to Back from Sonic Rush is a bop to listen to, encapsulating the Go vibe of Sonic, and especially Sonic Rush. The whole song is just incredibly fun and very upbeat. The whole time I listened to it, I was bobbing my head along with the beat. I was pleasantly surprised by how fun the song is, considering I've never uh, played Sonic Rush and I wasn't expecting vocals in the song. It immediately became one of my more favorite Sonic songs, especially for the remix version in Sonic Generations. Okay, number two, Seaside Hill, Sonic Heroes. Okay, maybe you don't call this a water level, but I will, especially the Sonic Generations version. Seaside Hill is one of my favorite Sonic level songs ever, and one of my favorite Sonic level vibes, despite never actually having played Sonic Heroes. No, I learned about this song from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Yeah, despite the weird story, this is still an amazing song, in my opinion. It's got the electric guitar, it's got the tropical beach vibe, and it's really catchy. There's not a single part of this song that I dread listening to. It's not terribly complicated, but still a great song, and deserves its number two spot. Okay, finally, we have our number one spot. Which song out of all the water zones got to take the coveted number one spot? Well, I'll tell you. Aquarium Park, Act 1, Sonic Colors. 
This is probably my favorite song from Sonic Colors and one of my favorite Sonic stage songs of all time. It opens with a nice beat and piano chords before dropping into the very catchy chorus, chorus section. Afterwards, it goes back to the piano for a very beautiful piano section that is probably my favorite bit of the whole song. Then the second time the chorus hits, the strings join in, and it's slightly different, more full than the first time it played. It just, it gets a little bit more ethereal, more pretty, I guess, for lack of a better word. Finally, it goes into the second verse with the string instruments, giving that it that more imperial feel to it, with the piano playing in the background. Overall, the song is catchy, feels great, and is honestly just amazing. Not to mention that Aquarium Park has one of my favorite aesthetics in a Sonic game. So, that is why it got number one. So what do you think of my top 10 list? Are there songs you'd remove? Are there songs you'd add? Let me know in the comments below what your water level top 10 would look like. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.